Hi guys, it's Suzanne here. Uh, so we're going to do a little yoga session today and we'll focus a little bit on opening up the hips and releasing. Um, yeah, hips and glutes. So before we start, let's just take a moment to settle. You can come to sit with your legs crossed or maybe sit on a cushion. Feel free to sit on the heels. And just take a moment to really lift, lengthen through the spine. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears and then exhale. Allow them to soften down. Allow your eyes to softly close. And you can let the hands rest in your lap or on your knees. And just take another full breath in. And sigh it out. Letting go of whatever you've been up to. And just bring your attention to your breath. Soften the jaw. Soften the throat. Soften the belly. And just invite your breath to become a little fuller. And then have a little scan through your body. And just find out what you've got to work with today. Notice if there are any areas that feel a little tight. Or maybe there's areas that just, just need waking up. <laughs> See what you've got there. And throughout the session, listen to your body. So if you want to rest, you rest. And if you want to modify any of the postures, you do that. Okay. Take a fuller breath in. Let it go. Allow the eyes to softly open. And let's just drop the head to one side. Allow the opposite shoulders to drop down away from the ear. You might even want to just let your arm hang down. Take a few breaths, just releasing there in the neck. Slowly up. And to the other side. Again, you can just drop the arm down. And you're allowing gravity to, to help stretch out the, the neck. Just letting the shoulder drop away from the ear. And then back to centre. And let's just get the shoulders moving. So inhale up and circle around in one direction. So exhaling down. <clears throat> Keep that going. And change direction. The shoulder rolls. Okay, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Let's inhale, raise one arm. We're just going to stretch over to the side. And keeping space here. Quite often the arm just drops down towards the ear, so draw the shoulder. Shoulder back. Inhale up and you head over to the opposite side. And then you're ready, come up. Now let's just focus a little on mobilising the spine now. 
So you can bring the hands onto the knees and we're just going to circle around right from the right from the tailbone around in one direction. So you circle it around. And just really focus on getting the whole of your spine moving. So you might want to start with quite a small, slow movement. And then gradually, as your, your body opens up, you might want to make the movement bigger. Maybe a little quicker. Long deep breaths. Just notice if there are any areas of your back that feel a little tight. Maybe maybe the upper back. See if you can if you work into that area a little more. Draw the chest forwards and then back. And reverse. Also get the, uh, the shoulders moving as you, you circle around. Okay. Couple more in that direction. And then we're going to roll over to all fours. If you haven't got um, a mat, you might want a little bit of padding under your knees, maybe a towel or a folded blanket. Okay. Weight evenly placed down through the palms, lengthen through each finger, and let's exhale. We're going to tuck the tailbone under and round into our cat, and then tilt the other way. And you just allow your breath to guide you. Yeah. And exhaling. Inhaling. And then when you do feel ready, tuck your toes under. And we're going to head to dog down, but we're going to start with the knees bent so we can really lengthen through the spine. So lift the knee, send your seat bones up. Let your head hang. Give it a lot of shake. And then just play around with stretching one heel down. And then the other. Nice deep breaths. If at any point you want to rest, I'll show you this now. You can rest in child's pose here. So sometimes dog down can feel quite strong when you're starting out. So do rest back if you need to. If you feel it in the wrist, just rotate. So from dog down, we're going to float our right leg up. And just let the knee bend. So you get a nice opening in the hip. And then start to work into your ankle joint. Little rotations, you can flex and point. Exhale, forwards, knee to chest. And sweep the leg back up. Forwards, knee to chest. Sweep the leg back up. One more. Landing in pigeon. So in pigeon, the knee is roughly behind the left hand, and then you'll need to have a little bit of a shift around so you feel your pelvis is level. We're not collapsing like this. Yeah. Okay, a little shift around, and then you have the option of dropping onto your forearm. So we are going to stay here for a little while, make sure you're fairly comfortable. And it's quite nice to let the head rest, allow the shoulders to soften. Mm -hmm. 
long deep breaths. If any of you want to intensify it, you can tuck your toes under and energise the back leg. Okay. A few more breaths here. And then you're going to lift onto the fingertips. Have your fingertips about the mat width. If your toes are tucked under, just drop back down to the top of the foot. Exhale, soften down. And inhale. back leg around to the side. I'm just going to turn around, you can stay as you are so you can see. So not too wide, don't have the leg too wide. If it's very tight you'll want to bend the knee like this or you can put a little cushion under the knee. Okay, inhale raise the left arm so you're just creating a bit more length on this underneath side of the body so as we come over to the side we retain that length we don't just slump. Options for the arm you can bring the hand onto the leg you can bring the hand to the inside or you can catch the foot and then open up the chest and the top arm comes up and over. What you don't close in, yeah? So we're always aiming to create more space in the body. Yeah? If you're closing in, just bring the arm back and open, and then feel free to take it over the head again. Some of you might want to catch the foot. And if you find that your right seat bone at the bottom is lifting away from the floor, Drop it back down. Okay. Inhale slowly, slowly up. And you're now going to cross the leg in front like this, or you can bring the lower leg so the knee's a bit more central and bring that left leg on top. It just totally depends what's going on in your hips. Yeah, both seat bones down. If you are crossing, make sure this foot's on the floor. Sometimes this happens, and that's not great because you're only putting a lot, a lot of pressure on the knee joint. Foot down, yeah. Legs crossed or on top. And then just bring the hands forwards. Instead of thinking about bringing the body forwards, think more about moving the weight back. So we're Remember, we're looking at opening up this whole area. So send the seat bones into the ground. Retain the length in the front of the body. And then if it does feel nice to soften forward, you can. Long deep breaths. Relax the shoulders. If it's feeling very strong coming forwards, don't do it. <laughs> like I said at, at the beginning, you know, really listen to your, your body. It shouldn't feel like a, a struggle. So you could always bring the hands a bit wider and stay upright. And then bring the weight to your hands. 
step slowly, slowly back to dog down and have a really nice pedal through your feet. Renew the length through your spine. And exhale, let's all move to our plank and onto all fours. And you're just going to circle around. Moving the bottom back towards the heel. And then change direction, head back to the other heel. And then slide all the way onto your belly. You're going to make little fists with the hands. I am. Bring them up. And tuck them just underneath the, the hip bone. <clears throat> or bones, both sides, yeah. Have a little shift around so you're fairly comfortable. You're going to glue the legs together, engage your glutes. And you can have your forehead resting down. Like, like that. <clears throat> and you're going to exhale. And lift the legs and stay. Keep the legs really active, squeeze them together, navel drawing away from the ground. Okay. And then relax. And then again, lift the legs. This time. And lift the chest. Keep length on the neck so you're not throwing your head up. Release the head. Release the legs. Gently loosen, rock the pelvis side to side. And then we'll come just to a baby cobra. Keep the legs active though. Inhale. Exhale down. If it feels good to come higher, you can come up into Cobra. Go for two more. Once you finish, push back to child pose, but have your knees a little wider and have a rest. Keep the arms active though, as though you were in dog down, so you can really send your seat bones back, broaden here in the <clears throat> lower back. And then you're going to head back to dog down and we're going to open up on the other side. <clears throat> Raise the left leg, allow the knee to bend, and a little rotation through the ankle. Watch that this knee, this right knee, doesn't roll in. Exhale forwards, plank position knee to chest, sweep the leg back up. One more, pause for a moment and then lightly place the knee down, have a little bit of a shift around so you feel your pelvis is fairly level and don't assume this side will feel the same. <laughs> One side's often a lot tighter. So if it feels okay, come down onto your forearms. And you can always make adjustments, so you might find you want to explore what it's like with the knee closer in. But often, with the knee a little wider, it's more comfortable. Resting down. Remember, 
remember if you do want to intensify it, you can lift the back knee. Sometimes with pigeon pose, it actually starts to feel more intense the longer you stay. <laughs> so if that's happening, you know, really use your breath to help you relax into it, deepen into it a little more. And often the um, exhaling through the mouth, like that, actually helps us to release. So give it a go. And then we're all going to lift up and lengthen. And then just a couple of rounds, exhaling down. And inhaling, lift up. And one more. And then you're going to bring your back leg around to the side. Again, you can stay as you are, just turn so you can see. So find a good place for it, not too wide. Knee looking up. Inhale, lengthen this uh, right side of the body. And you're going to retain the length as you come over to the side. And then other arm up and over. You can always rest the hand down if it doesn't feel good in the shoulder. And you might want to stay here. Yeah. You can work it out. <laughs> and then you might want to look down instead. It's a little bit softer in the neck. If you are familiar with this and you want to catch the foot, then go for it. When you've had enough, inhale, slowly, slowly up. I don't think you've got much choice there. <laughs> okay, bring your back leg either in front, so we're sitting with the legs crossed, or on top. Level up. And let's see, do you want to stay sitting up? Or do you want to start to creep the fingers forwards and release the body forwards. If you are coming forwards, try and keep this length on the, the underneath side of the body. Find our way back to dog down. Again, you'll probably want a little pedal through the feet. Start with bent knees. Exhale forwards to your plank. Come on to all fours. And again, circle around, just bringing a little bit of a or more of a fluid movement into the body. Sometimes we hold postures for a while and um, end up getting a little bit rigid. So it's, it's really good just to bring some, some fluid movement back in. You can even try a figure of eight. <clears throat> and then you're gonna slide onto your belly. Inhale, baby cobra or cobra. Exhale, soften. Keep the legs active. We'll just go for three. So you got one more. All the way back. 
to child's pose. Have a little rest. And then uncurl. So I'll just show you this quickly. Um, again, we're going to look at opening up here a little more. And we are just going to come into a variation of our one-legged dog to our one-legged plank. We're going to come out to the side. So some of you will probably be familiar with it, some of you won't, which is why I'm just going to go through it for you. You're exhaling. To your plank position, Knee comes to your elbow. I know some of you all want to extend. Yep, or stay there. All the way up. And I know that that might feel quite strong. If it does, simply work on the knee. Okay, great. Let's go together. Come to dog down. Raise your right leg. Exhale forwards. Bend leg or straight leg. All the way up. Exhaling forwards. Again, you can extend or stay there. On this third one, we're going to place the foot to the outside of the hand. And if it's landed here, that's fine. Just make sure you're on the knee. Shift it forwards. And we'll settle. Now, depending on what's going on in your hips, you might want to turn the foot out a little more, yeah? That's fine, as long as your knee tracks your foot, or is good. And then C, if you want to stay here, or if you want to drop down. Just check you're not holding any tension in the jaw. Again, I know some of you will want to intensify it, so you can always lift this back knee. This time, rather than stepping back to dog down, we're going to step to Malasana. That's a squat. And it's a fairly wide one, so you're going to bring your back foot forwards to the outside of the hand, and you're going to drop down. Yeah? Stretching the arms up. Let me just show you. Now you might find your heels are lifting. If they are, try taking your feet a little bit wider, yeah? Or you can put a cushion or some blocks, you might have blocks, under your, under your heels. Nice deep breaths. And we're going to come to hang down in Uttanasana. So slowly, slowly um, straighten the legs. Bring the feet so they're parallel. And allow the body to hang. And you might even want a little sway. Back to dog down. Have a mini rest in child's pose. And we're going to go on the other side, yep. Yeah? Okay, so dog down, or if you're working on all fours, you're going to lift the leg like this. Exhale forward towards the left elbow, and all the way back, yep. Yeah? If you're not on all fours, you bring your dog down. Remember, you've got the option of extending the leg. Just knock the plant. I keep moving them around depending on where I am and what I'm doing. They can get in the way, so yeah. Maybe I think I should shift it that way a bit. Um, if so, you're in your wide lunge on this side. Remember, the foot can turn out as long as the knee is. is um, in, in line, like tracking the foot, yes, but it's a nice opening in the hip. And you can hang out here. And you might even want to drop down onto your forearms. And I 
nice deep breaths. But yeah, feel free to lift this um, breath here. Okay. Um, and you've had enough. If you're on your forearms, you're going to lift back to your hands. Again, rather than stepping back to dog down, we're going to step forward to Manasana, our squat. Nice and wide. This time, lean forwards. We're leaning forwards to counterbalance the weight of this. Lean forwards, lean forwards, keep the arms in the air and bring the bottom down. Bring the feet together, drop the knees wide. <clears throat> this can sometimes feel a bit a bit sort of tight. Just cross your cross your legs if it does. And then soften forwards, letting go. Again, just move the head a little. Shrug the shoulders. And slowly uncurl. You're gonna bring your hands behind you. Come down onto your elbows and then come to rest back. Inhale and let it go. Slowly now draw your knees together. Have your feet about hip width. Your arms can come a little away from the body. And you're just going to exhale, dropping into a little twist. Let the head roll the other way. And come into a little twist on the other side. Slowly back. Slide the legs out. Allow your eyes to close. And allow your body to really be supported by the ground. Notice the contact you make with the ground. Notice how you're breathing now. And then let the head roll gently side to side. Bring some movement into your wrists and your ankles. And slowly start to stretch out. A really good stretch. And once you've had a good stretch, hug both knees in towards your chest and gently rock. Just massaging the lower back. And Circle the knees out a little, see what's going on in the hips now, hopefully they are a lot more open. And then roll your way onto your side, use your hands to slowly, slowly bring you up to sitting. We'll take a minute sitting and we'll breathe in, stretch both arms overhead, bringing the palms together. And drawing them down towards the heart centre and you can press the palms together and lift the chest. Keep that nice lift through the spine for the rest of the day. 
we'll finish there. Take care. Have a super wonderful um, day, morning, afternoon. <laughs> Depends when you watch this. Uh, but I will see you very soon. Uh, feel free to give uh, no, Walls, no Walls Yoga a follow on, on Instagram. Okay, take care. Bye.